Hello again from beautiful Bali. As always, I just remind you in the beginning that I am really in Bali and you might hear some weird noises, but that's completely normal. So today we're gonna talk about how you can find clients on Instagram. This is actually one of my favorite strategies in order to find potential clients to work with so that you then can start your digital nomad life. First of all, I want you to think about a location-based hashtag in your area. So for example, if you live in Los Angeles, you could do Los Angeles, but it's probably too big. So I would look for a hashtag in your specific area. If you're from Europe or even like me from Switzerland and you find a hashtag like Bern or Zurich, they are actually perfect and I found clients through those hashtags. So what you're gonna do is gonna go into that hashtag and then go on recent posts and scroll through the feed and see what comes up. What you are looking for is not so nice pictures. So for example, a product-based business that has a product picture on there but doesn't look so professional or a restaurant that posted, for example, a dish, something from their food, something from their menu, but doesn't look super nice. And then you click on the picture and then go through their profile and check um, how many followers do they have and how is their Instagram profile in general. You want to find um, accounts that don't have too many followers and don't have perfect pictures, maybe not so nice captions and not so good hashtags. So you're just gonna write all those accounts um, on a piece of paper and then you go back to it and really gonna uh, see which one you wanna pitch your services to. So there are two ways how you can do that. Of course, you can send them a direct message on Instagram, but usually those people are super busy and they don't even check the requests. So what I do is I check if they have an email address, uh, if they put their ad address on there, or if you find a contact person on LinkedIn. So you can go on LinkedIn and see if you find someone you can message directly. If not, then I suggest go there. I'm sorry, just trying to check what is attacking me here. Um, all right, so let's say you have a restaurant and you found the address. I personally would go there and talk to the owner and um, pitch my services. But before you do that, what you want to do is write down a few points where you could see that their Instagram could use some improvements, but also some positive points. So you wanna start positive and say, hey, I really liked this picture and it resonated with me because of X, Y, Z and I live in this area, so I really would like to support you. I saw that we could still do some improvements on the picture quality, on the hashtags or whatever you feel like you could do for them. If you don't feel like you can go there or you're a bit shy, then I would suggest writing an email. So this is basically a cold pitch email and I do get that, that it sounds a bit scary or nasty, but you're not gonna send out mass emails. You're gonna send out specific tailored cold pitch emails with your points that you just wrote down. So your first sentence has to be super clear and has to point out something specific from their Instagram account so that whoever reads the email sees that this is not a mass email, but that you took the time to actually go through their account. So this is your last and most important step when you send the email, double check again, would I message myself back if I will get that email? So first of all, just to recap quickly, you go into location-based hashtags and you look for businesses that have potential in their Instagram and you could work with. Then you write down what you would improve and what you liked and then you reach out either in person or via email. Now the reason why I love the personal approach is because usually you create a really long-term relationship. So whenever I am in Switzerland, I use this strategy and I reach out to a couple of businesses and then I meet in person and those people are still with me now because even when I travel, they don't mind because they know me personally. 
So I love this kind of approach and it creates a long-term relationship. If you like this video and you would like to learn more and um, different strategies on whatever topic, comment below what kind of topic you would be interested in and I will do my next Instagram TV video on your topic. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!